Boys, what's up, man? It's tournament time. You guys have loved these videos in the past. Going to break down all these games. This is the MCS Wild Card Tournament. Quarter million dollars up for here. We played the ladders. You guys watched tons of my ladder game on YouTube. Thank you guys for supporting. Like and comment and do that right now before we even start. Closing on 40,000 subscribers. But we finished 36, or like, yeah, 36 overall on the ladders. We were like probably 12 games over 500, something like that. Played over 40 games of ladders. I absolutely loved it. Ladders is what makes me great. Playing good comp all the time. Getting better. Learning the game against the best players in the world. That's what's always made me better. So I love that opportunity to play every single night. The streams were popping. The YouTube was popping. We are farming everything, boys. This was game one. We played probably the 180 seeds, something like this. A guy I played a couple times uh, throughout the year and in the last couple years of Madden. So I felt comfortable going into the game. Let's talk about it. Let's take a look, man. I'm in New Orleans playbook. I am in 4-6 defense. I want to run a little tight, a little bunch, a little stack, audible around, run the ball, keep things, slow things down a little bit, uh, freestyle a lot, kind of what I did in man 17, 18, you know, not necessarily stuck in one formation, just whatever is best for the defense, man. We want to get things involved. And, and move things around. You know, I'm definitely using John Elway, the only quarterback out there. Heavy man coverage defense. We're still throwing some eggs if we see the opportunity. So, let's go ahead. Let's just get right into it, boys. We're not nothing cute here. This is the first game. Here we go. You see, we're kicking the ball off first. That's always the way to go. Always makes things a lot bit a lot easier when you can kick the ball off. Uh, and, and, you know, allow yourself... To what you gonna call it to get the ball at half. So essentially, it's like a built-in possession, or it's a built-in uh, a built-in stop, really. But uh, you see him come out in this. All right, he comes out in this like two-back thing. So definitely run the ball the first play. Now I, I'm I'm an old head too, so I'll run the ball first play a lot too because you know just want to get your your nerves out of the way. Uh, we run the ball. We get a big stop. Reggie White right there. The boys shed. So, kind of a waste of a play, but he's still setting some more audibles. Now you got to pause the game, look at their abilities, make sure they're not doing too. Uh, you, and when you see their abilities, you kind of get a, a chance to see what essentially what their scheme is be. Man, if they're going to have zone knockouts, they're going to be a zone. If they're going to have man knockouts, they're going to be a man. You know, whatever along those lines goes. Man, if they have running back abilities, maybe they're going to want to tote. He has two tall Jones with lurker. I mean, what's that going to be? Maybe using a D lineman, something like that. Uh, along those lines. So now he's going to go into this tight Y off, and this is what he's going to be in the majority of the game here. And you see, uh, right now I actually, the, the, the defense, the computer called my defense. Now I wouldn't waste the timeout for this. I'm just going to audible to cover four here. Just play safe defense. I'm not going to waste the timeout. I was doing something and just just not paying attention or not, not dialed in all the way. And here he's actually going to no huddle me. But I'm going to stay here. I'm not going to waste my timeouts. I'm, I feel fine just playing cover four, real basic. Uh, you know, just because I don't want to waste the time out, this is not my defense I want to be in. <clears throat> He's able to run here, get that first down. You see he has Darren Waller at running back, which is tough. So now we're back in dollar. A little bit of spinner man coverage here. He's going to try to run on this again. Uh, just put bodies around there. We're going to get some sheds. But what he likes to do is motion out Waller. He does this all game. C route, streak. Underneath, oh man, I had a spy right there. Sean Taylor could have just put his hands out and picked that off. But this is going to be his route combo the entire game. It's, it's just motion out Waller. You'll see a streak to Calvin. You'll see a C route to Waller. You'll see a corner route to Mike Williams. And then a whip route underneath here. Oh, flat route he goes for right there. Gets nothing. Fourth and two early in the game. Love to see this. Same thing, man. He's going to motion out Waller. It's an easy, it's an easy thing because in spinner if you guys see and this is going to play a big part of the game if you guys pay attention in spinner my safety or my yeah my safety will just motion out and go on the cj2k or whoever goes out and then i just man up the running back on this tight end right here so it's kind of an easy an easy transition in spinner so we just have zero coverage across the board fourth and two i'm going to bring the dogs i might even shade down here or not shade up or just no shade I really don't remember. A lot of times I don't like taking a chance, like shade down, because you could give up a touchdown. And, I mean, obviously I want to stop him here, but I don't want to give up a big play. So I might still play a safe, almost allow him to complete a short pass for first. I'm not going to overplay anything here. Uh, and we we'll get a little bit of pressure, and we have CJ2K beating Night Train Lane on a C route. 
Uh, that that's something you don't anticipate. You know, your best corner getting beat by a running back on a C route. But that's, you know, <clears throat> what are you gonna do? That's Madden 23, the most unpredictable man coverage game ever. <clears throat> Here we go. That time, first down, we shifted our line to guard the running or to guard inside zone there. So that's was something I did. If I really wanted to stop inside zone, I'd shift my line left. Here he goes with a play action. Goes for an ag and. Dion knocks it out. Ags are going to be a big part of this game, as they are a big part of Madden 23. Once again, motions out. Looks for that Waller on a C route. Gold corner route, but we get a big sack, fourth down. 41-51, 58-yard field goal here. You know the kickers are invincible. I think I got the animation to block this field goal, but I tripped. Yeah, look, that's the block animation. This is the block animation, but I trip. You know, we actually get a block, and Suggs, if you guys watch it, it slows down. We're going to get the block, but I trip. Just unlucky, but he gets three points. We'll always sign up for that every single time. Three points is is, is, a, is a definitely a stop, or I want to say a stop, but you get a lot of momentum you feel good about that drive so we're gonna start out a little tight here he's in nickel normal looks like her over g something like that we're gonna just run the ball here just try to get something i the run is so bad though man like they just shed so easily but uh, i want to keep i want to play safe i guess you know that's what the run is here we're gonna look for a corner route it's just man coverage or it's just zone coverage you see he's on too tall we knew that from looking at his looking at his abilities too tall with lurker he's using the d tackle Wide open corner route against that cover three. Here we're going to go to a little bunch right here. First down, we're going to run the ball. I am an old head. Uh, not much doing. Now, you guys know I hate the run during, you know, weekend league games or ranked season games. But, man, when the games get tight, you want to do the easy plays. You want to do the safe plays. Only three things can happen when you pass the ball, and two of them are bad. So you definitely want to keep it safe. Uh, but I don't play like that during – Regular game, regular head-to-head -head games, and I think that hurts me because of my, you know, I'm really not that good at running because I don't do it all the time, but here we're going to pick up a nice little seven yards, and we get to a third and short here. Third and short, and this is one reason why I don't like running that much because I go to pass, right, and, I, and I'm and i not, I haven't passed that much. I have one completed pass so far, so I'm not really comfortable on what his defense is. I don't really know what he wants to do defensively. I don't know what his goal is. Is he a blitzer? Is he screaming at me? And, and because of that, I fall asleep and get looped. I get looped. I wasn't my first or my second rep of passing. I get looped. I fall asleep and I get sacked. So that ends my drive right there. So people say, why don't you run the ball, man? Because I'll tell you guys, when you're, when you're, able to get a lot of reps passing you learn your opponent's defense you learn your opponent's tendencies in their pass coverage and that's what makes it a lot easier to pass later in the game so right there's an example of why i do like to pass but i also like to run because it's easier and it's a lot sh less stressful so that's the uh the gift and the curse of running the football and things like of that nature so we stopped a little jet sweep here so like i said it's going to be the same combo the whole game Motion out Waller. We're going to get an easy switch right here. This time, Night Train doesn't walk with him. I guess I bumped him. Sometimes when you use a player, they don't run. So I'm going to just flirt out here like so he can't throw a quick slant. Corner route, knocked out Ty Law. I have that medium knockout on Ty Law and Night Train. So we get to a 39. I mean, it, listen, I, I'm not... I am not going to change anything. I don't think this route combo is crazy. I don't think it's nothing. There we go. There we get the motion. We walk out. We're all manned up. We're shaded up. No big plays here. I actually realize he's been blocking his tight end, so I put that guy over there in a yellow zone right there. He gets a huge animation in front of the knockout. Third down. I mean, once again, like, nice play, but I'm not going to switch my defense up for that. I just rely on the ability to knock that out. When, when the time comes. So once again, he runs right there, gets a good gain. Then I shift my line, stop the run. That's what I mean about when it's time to stop the run, is we can stop the run. But you don't want to weaken your pass defense to stop the run. Uh, we're closing the two-minute warning here. That's actually going to go to the two-minute warning. Fast first half, fast. Only two possessions, three to three. He's flipping around. This time he motions out left. Uh, we got the same thing here. 
good defense and we actually had a cross man right there if you guys see what i did i to see i put a cloud flat over here to take away that same corner route he liked throwing cross man at water on this little whip it's like a backwards whip route it's actually working pretty good and i thought uh at water would be able to guard this on this crazy cross man here uh but you see he gets kind of whipped and just cross man is not good ever since madden 17 cross man just i feel like they just run right by him when you do any type of cross man all right same thing here third and two <clears throat> i do the same defense cloud on the left to stop that corner route and he goes up top and of course you know because it's me we just can't get our feet in on this beautiful read by the ops he just chucks the ball up looks like calvin was a touchdown but he throws that click on boom we can't get our feet down he gets another three points all right so we got time here let's get something before half uh we realize he's going to loop me on the left side here he almost went off sides so i called timeout so if you guys are struggling with this loop i'll give you a little there there's what you want to do right there if you're struggling with the loop uh you want to double team this guy that way both of your linemen will block him and then your running back will pick up the looper or the contain now the running back sucks versus the contain so he will sometimes he'll get ran by sometimes he'll suck sometimes it'll be bad but you won't get instant looped by the d end now if they double loop you like people have been doing out of three three god bless your soul i don't know what to do against that all the way but this is what you do against a single loop like this now i know that because i got sacked on third down now so i know next time to pass i gotta do this i gotta block boom you see it perfectly block we step up a little bit hit another corner route boom so we're closing in on field goal range. We want to get seven here. We get the ball at half. Going to try to pop a little run ski right here. Get some decent blocks. That's what I like to see. Nice little 10-yard gain. That's what I want when I run inside zone on this baseline dollar. I want to run the ball a lot on baseline dollar because baseline dollar is actually goaded, honestly. We see Byers right there picking up another 10 yards. We're 30 seconds, man. This is this is working out pretty well. We actually got him out of dollar into a little four, or nickel normal or over G, whatever this is. So now he's not loop blitzing me. Now I'm going to have some time to make some plays in the pocket here. Three-man rush. Just give me some time here, boys. Actually, good coverage here. You see what he did here? Uh, he's been running uh, a lot of co cover four. But right here, he's going to drop a little double Mabel on the right side. Take away that. He lurks the middle. Uh, takes away my post route. Maybe I could have do the A high ball outside. But looks pretty covered right there. So I'm chilling. First down, not forcing the ball. I get the ball I have, so I'm guaranteed a tie game right here. So we're going to go back with the same type of thing. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did change to the deeper corner route. So if he puts that, that cloud over there, I can high ball over his head. Deeper corner route. He sends a lot of pressure right here, though. Oh, yep. He didn't even put a cloud there. That's actually just a deep blue. That's why we run it off with the streak. Send some pressure, but we pick it up nicely. Almost got in trouble because those guys bumped into each other. Now we're at the four-yard line. 23 seconds left. I have one timeout. So we have some time here. Uh, we can make some plays. We can still run the ball, but we want to save our run for third down. This is something, uh, as I hit a dot right here, but touchdown, nice. But this is something I see so many <clears throat> NFL teams do and you guys should do. Uh, this is such a real football situation. It really is. And for me, this is where like Madden players can help real football teams is that, okay, I have the ball first and goal, right? I only have one timeout. Now, obviously, he has to play the run and the pass on defense, this play, every play, because I can still run the ball because I have that timeout. Now, if I run the ball on first down and have to use my timeout, then the next two downs, he doesn't have to play the run because I'm not going to run with no timeouts, right? You have to keep that weapon of both running and passing on all three downs, right? You have to keep the defense honest on all three downs. That's why you cannot run until third down. Because if because that, that way, each snap, first down, second down, and third down, the defense still has to play disciplined and respect the run. But if you don't have a timeout, they don't have to respect the run anymore. So that's why when you get in these situations, and most players will do this, is that I will pass on first down, pass on second down, and then if I'm close enough to where a run is realistic, I'll run on third down. If I don't get it, then I burn my last timeout, kick my field goal, or I can go for it on fourth down because it's the end, it's the last play of the, of the series anyway, so timeouts don't matter. So that's why you'll see uh, me always pass on first down in these situations, and we're lucky enough to go with the two slants or two slants, two drags, and find Mike Williams 
for the touchdown. Huge drive. Look, not a lot of time left. Great job. We get the ball at half. First touchdown of the game. We both had two drives. He's got six. I got ten. If I get the ball at half, we'll be good. Got to get a stop here. <clears throat> and we can we can get the ball and go up 17-6. And, I mean, I feel great about that. Uh, here we go. Once again, he motions out again. Same thing. It's, it's literally it's not anything cute out of him. Not anything special. This time, I put a deep blue in the middle. As you see, this time Night Train does not travel. I must have touched him a little bit, moved his player, and he doesn't travel. But there being 19 seconds left, uh, he has two timeouts. For me, I'm a, I, I don't think he's going to snap and throw a, cor uh, a quick out route is what could hurt me. A streak, by the time he throws it, Night Train will be right next to him. So I'm not too worried about him getting out there. You saw earlier in the game when the time was not a factor, I kind of went out there to cover it to make sure he didn't throw like a quick out route. But I'm fine with where he's at right now. I'm fine with it because, like I said, if he wants to throw a five-yard out route for five yards right now with 19 seconds, God bless. If he throws a streak, Night Train will get out there. That's how I feel. C-Route, he'll get out there. I got a deep blue in the middle just to make sure that Calvin doesn't beat me on an ag or something like that. 19 seconds, I'm, I'm, I feel fine. But, you know, this is my luck. And if you guys saw it, we not only did Night Train get out to that receiver... Night Train takes out Deion Sanders. Watch Night Train. You know, he could have went any angle he could to the outside receiver, but this is the angle he chose. Watch this. Boom. And gives up a touchdown. <clears throat> I don't know if my audio is recording from the, the game, but... You know, I was pissed. That's just lucky as hell and just unfortunate that we gave that up. I mean, it's one thing about this game that's so inconsistent. It's just the bumping, the rubbing, the I'm going to run into your defender. I'm going to run into a zone. Just, <sighs> just it's disappointing right there. All right, here he goes. Back to this. We're going to run a little play action on a loop here. Try to step up in the pocket. If we get some blocking there, we have Y for a touchdown, I think. <clears throat> You know, we got to just block the left. He's running out of here. We, I mean, like, I have one lineman on the ground, two line, three, three linemen staring at nothing. Like, just, just atrocious, dude. Just, at, like, I, like, come on, game. Just watch why. I'm talking high, over the top, on the outside. Okay. One, this dude on the left just falls down, and then my my these three guys do nothing. And talking right here, high ball up near the NFL shield, catch touchdown or catch field goal. But we get shedded, nothing. <coughs> Go to half. We get the ball though, so we give up that touchdown. Sucks. But like I said, we still have the ball. We're able to make some plays. I go down the field. We've seen him run this same defense. This is his loop left side. Uh, I actually called the wrong play, so I'm struggling. I am old. So come back with a little inside zone. We're audible back. Motion. The reason I motion this guy. Now watch this, man. This if you guys are running tight offset. Uh, the reason I motion this guy out of the way is because this baseline dollar look when they spread the line. This guy gets confused on who's responsible for him, right? Sometimes the, the left tackle will leave him alone and let the wide receiver try to block him, and that means he's going to instant shed and stop the run. But if I move this guy out of the way, then the tackle knows, okay, that's my responsibility. And the tackle might get instant shedded, but not like the wide receiver. That's why I move that guy out of the way, and you'll see the tackle pop out and get Lawrence Taylor, get a good block on him, and we pick up a couple yards. We're going back a little play action. I'll try to go. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I realized this baseline cover four. This is exactly what I wanted to do before half. I know this play burns baseline cover four up to Y, high and up about, you know, boom. Mike Williams, get up out of there. Ooh, gets a tackle. But a huge play. I'm inside the red zone just like that. This time I'm going to motion a waller over. Maybe a one trap here. Maybe something like that. I'll rush him on pass there. I think he audibles the spinner. Man covers here. Yeah, that's like, ooh. God, this is such a good tidbit. Now watch him as I motion over. You watch his safeties drop down. That means he's going to audible to spinner. Just like that. Boom. He's in spinner. He's in man coverage now. Now, if you see this, this route combo right here is for zone. See, I got I have X on a streak to run off all the deep blues to hit the corner route. 
once I see him drop in the spinner, I don't need the streak anymore. I know it's man coverage, right? So what I do is I take X and I put him on a flat route. Why? Just to get him out of the way. Take your guy, which is right here, take him out of the way. What I want to do now, I'm isolating Mike Williams, short and elite on this corner route. Boom. Right there, I have Moss coming backside on the corner, maybe Waller if I need it. But I know he audible to spinner. I know that we're going to be able to pop this if I get some time. We do. Boom. Corner route. Mike Williams. Touchdown. Easy drive. Easy. Another, I mean, if you look at my drives right now, we're playing great football on offense. We're making the right calls. We're kind of in the zone. Just got to play some defense here, boys. A little run with Waller. Once again, he's back to this motion out thing. Going with that, that cloud flat over there on the right. He goes for that. We get a big pick by Night Train Lane. We're going to take this as far as we can. Juke by him. Juke by the, Ah, he got me. All right, so now we need a touchdown. We need a touchdown here, boys. Once again, it's cover four. He's not pressed anymore, so uh, we're not going to be able to do that deep bomb anymore, but we're going to try to... And now we go with a zone beater. Double team left. We're picking up the loop. We're looking good. He actually double Mabels. He gets out of that cover four, and he goes with a double Mabel over here on the left. So he takes away that corner route. We get sacked. But the thing about stepping up in the pocket, boys, and this is I tell people all the time, the thing about stepping up in the pocket is, look, you we got sacked this play. As we watch it again. We get a double Mabel on the left. Good. D, I mean, maybe in a perfect world, I could have highballed the Y, and I could have hit X, but I, I was just staring down Y thinking it was a deep blue. So that's what people, oh, X is open. I know. But I was staring down Y. I'm sorry. I think, I think it's going to be cover four. I think I'm going to get a big corner route. And the thing about throwing in the middle of the field is I have to just wait to see who he chooses to guard. So I don't really even want to play that game. I want to throw where the computer players are. So that's why, you know, it's, uh, you know, that's why we take a sack there. But we only took a one-yard sack. So it's not like we lost eight yards. We didn't lose ten yards or anything like that. Here, <clears throat> I don't know what we're calling right here. Honestly, not... One of the worst plays I've called. I don't know what I was looking for. Ah, I know what I was looking for. So he double Mabels. So now I'm looking for a wheel route over top of the cover two on the left side. This time he doesn't double Mabel. Just runs cover four. Good defense. Now we get a third and nine. So honestly, he called the right defense for the right plays that I ran both times in a row. Uh, you know. Tough. This is where I wish I didn't stream or had a 10-minute delay or something like that. So they couldn't see what plays I had on the field. But, you know. <clears throat> Here we go. We're going. Same thing. Corner route left. He, he has the double Mabel. We get shedded. And boom. We have both people. We have everybody open. We're not even shedded here. We just have to step up so obnoxiously because I'm getting glitched. I mean, nothing. I, I should just stand there. But it's like. I got to get away from these guys on the right, on the left, and this guy spins around in a contain when I have literally everything. Touchdown, curl route, A route, everything, and I step into a contain, and he sheds me. I, I tell you, man, I contains for me, for the life of me, are the worst thing in Madden. They really are. They're just so broken. They're so terrible. They should stop trying to make contains. All they do is glitch the game. All they do is confuse the O-line. All they do is make the O-line stupid. They don't even stop the quarterback from rolling out. They should stop trying to make them. So we only settle for a field goal there. Big deal, man. We got two field goals here in this game. That's, I mean, both times we get sacked on third downs. And so that's keeping this game close for the most part. And that touchdown before half is keeping the game close. Motion out again. The same route combo. I love my defense for it. Uh, cloud on the left side. We got a cross man here. We just got to make sure the C route doesn't get over the top. And it does. And somehow he catches that on the universal coverage. Love to see that. And that's what you love to see, man. Good throw. Good read. Nice. Same thing. He's going to motion out once again. This time I've had enough. I think I'm going to send this extra guy. And, of course, one time he sees that nobody's on this guy that's been guarding him all game. But this is the play that he decides to put him on a streak. Nice job, buddy. That's just brilliant. But we catch him. <clears throat> here we go. We're going to play coverage here inside the 10 yard line or inside the 15. We're going to play coverage here. Get a huge sack. Fumble. Nope. <clears throat> Unlucky again. Could have easily been a fumble. Instead, he picked up five yards on that. <coughs> Tough scene, really. Second and five again. We're going to play coverage. High ball. Keith Byers beats Dion on just like an in route. 
Uh, one thing about this is I don't have anybody on a running back. I also have a hook curl right there. You know, I mean, just Night Train, dude. Night Train might have had a bad game in this game, boys. If you're looking at home, did, my, did Night Train have a bad game? So he ties the game up. Uh, you know, tough drive defensively there. Uh, and we kind of, I want to almost say we have a little money drive here. I don't know if we can milk the whole clock, but we pop a run, get it to the fourth quarter, pop another little run ski, get three yards. We got him pinching his line. This is my goal in dollar when I play baseline dollar. I want you, if you pinch your line, these corners aren't going to scream as fast if you blitz. So I always like when people pinch your line. Uh, that's why the run is good. It makes people do that and relax. So same thing here. We're going to run off deep blues on the left. Little blitz. We step up in the pocket beautifully. High ball over the middle. That's what I mean. If they pinch the line, I'm going to pass most of the time. Uh, it weakens their pass defense, and that's why having 0-1 trap in the, in the inside zone is great. All right, here we go. Let's milk a little, take a little time off the clock. I don't think we can take the whole game, but we can definitely get close to the two-minute warning here. Uh, nice run here. I mean, I, I look at the safety and, like, can we block the safety in the corner, right? That's what I, I look at. All right, right here, boom. I see, look. See, now, obviously, we can just run right up here, but I see this guy and this guy. But over here, I see this guy ceiling. I see this guy right here about to take out this guy. And Moss could get this guy. So I think if I can get, instead of taking on this guy, if I can get through this gap right here, Baja. Now, maybe this is why I suck at running, because I overthink it. Just run to this giant hole and then maybe truck this guy or juke him. I might honestly be on conservative at this point. I don't remember. So I don't know if trucking and juking is an option. But that was my idea, and 73 just got shedded. You know, probably could have worked, but we get six yards nonetheless. Clock is running here. I mean, I would probably run again here. We're going to go, I think we're probably going to go base here. I have Puller Elite on Fanica on the left, the left guard here. Let's see what he does. Boom, big block by Fanica. That's tough because, damn, we get a third and one. Uh, I, I'm not a guy that's ever going to really run for third and short, which is kind of dumb after running all that far down. Four-man rush here. Beautiful pass underneath Calvin. Nice job. Nice. And now here we're going to be able to get to the two-minute warning here. We're going to go back to this base. I liked how it looked the last play against the same look. Let's see if we can get a nice little chunk again. Um, this time, the same exact look. This is why I hate running, <laughs> even though I'm doing it a lot. Same look, but somehow Joe Thomas doesn't block Lawrence Taylor. Where does he go here? Like, And we lose four yards. That's such a tough loss. And he calls time out there. So that kind of forces my hand. Do I want to run the ball again here? Take it to the two-minute warrior? Get one of his timeouts? This is a lot of thought here. But, you know, I'm going to pass because I can get a touchdown here. I feel it. I want the corner route over here to Darren Waller. I really do. That's what we're staring down for the most part here. And he does a good job, and we throw the ball away. Once again, he goes with that double Mabel, deep cloud on the right side, maybe a 30-yard cloud. I really didn't have much. I really didn't have much. Could I high ball over his head? Not worth it when I have the lead in my possession. Could have hit wide late, but he covered it long enough to where uh, it would run into this flat zone over here. Maybe that's seen down the middle, but you got to realize that or B is never really an option for me. He's just running off deep blue zones. And then he gets pushed. So look how far B got pushed into the middle of the field. So he's not even supposed to be there. But that was good defense. And we throw the ball away, so we save him a timeout. Third and 14 here. Tough. Now, this is what I do here. This is what I try here because he had that deep cloud zone the other play, right? Instead of running a corner route into the back of the end zone that that cloud can cover, let's try to run that cloud down the field and throw this in route, smart route, right in front of his face. That's what I'm thinking on this play. If I get this first down, the game's over. I have a hitch. The reason I have a flat is any purple zones or flat zones, this flat will take them all the way to the left and leave me a void right here to hit this curl. But I, I think he's going to stay in the middle with his user. I want to hit Waller. I do because... I think this guy's on a 30-yard cloud, so he's going to go all the way to the goal line. And in front of him, I could throw in front of him with the with the deep out route. That's what I think. That's why I call this play. And 
end, I mean, I didn't like it. I didn't think it was worth it. What do you guys think in the comments? Like I said, I didn't want to do this guy because I knew his user was right here. I knew he'd be here. Now, B, that's an impossible throw. Let's be honest here. RB, I'm staring down Waller, and maybe I'm pussy. I wish he would have cut it off at the goal line or at the smart routed line. I mean, he's like five yards past that. So he gives me like, <sighs> he gives me no window to really throw. If he would have cut it off right at the smart routed line, I, we would have been money. It's a great idea. I think he's too far down the field. Um, maybe I'm, maybe I was scared. Maybe I would played safe. Maybe I did not go and get after it. Maybe I could have threw the Y the whole time. But I, like I said, I'm scaring. I'm staring down A. I didn't like it. I let the play develop. He didn't rush anybody. Now I'm just going to dump the ball off to Marcus Allen here because I feel like I can just keep the clock running. I can maybe get a first down. It's Marcus Allen, right? I'm going to dump it off to him. And look where he threw the ball. Look where he throws the ball here. Oh, man. Looking back at A, I should have just trusted my gut and went and got it. But he almost threw me a pick. But I take I take the lead. We lose four yards on first down, nothing on second down, and then that play, we could have let the clock run a little bit more, but we have ourselves a nice little gain, or we have ourselves a nice job, nice chance to get off the field. He has a streak for a touchdown, and that one drive would have, like, I'm not worried about it. I can make play. I can make plays. I'm cool. I drop a guy out in the coverage here for that corner route. He's got nothing. Big sack right there. Pat Pete coming up huge with a sack. Two-minute warning. Second and 19. We're feeling great. We're feeling good. Once again, deep blue in the middle. I don't want to get agged by Calvin. The deep blue will help with the ag. He'll come over uh, you know, and knock it out if he, if he has a chance. Right there. Boom. Deep blue. Exactly. And then we get the, the exactly how I drew it up exactly why I put that deep blue there. I see his eggs are in the middle. We cover the corner route over here to the left. User it. This guy does a great job on a C route. Look at that. That's just picture perfect. High balls. The guy I put in a... Now, if I don't have this deep blue, he glitches out Dion. It might be a touchdown. But Sean Taylor comes out, cuts his legs out. Boom, ball pops up. Everybody on my team has pick artists just for that. Now, we get the ball. This is where... You have to make a decision as a Madden player. Do I want to get a first down or do I want to just run the clock and hope to get a first down kick a field goal? Me, I will always try to get this first down. Uh, and, you know, that's just how, how my mindset works. Now, first down, we're always going to run here. Uh, I wish we would have got some better blocks right there. Nothing doing. Now, he's going to let the clock run. He chooses not to use a timeout. So if someone does this to you, you have to make sure you take it all the way to one second. You know, but for me, this comes to a, a decision for me is like, OK, if you're going to pass for this first down at some point, you should do it on second down because it's a lot easier to pass on a run situation than it is on third down. If it gets to third and 10, passing is damn near impossible. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and try to pass here on second down just to get some yards. And it's an easier passing situation. Snap, flat route, knocked out. Now. This is where the high ball kills me because I swear this is open. I, now, I'm not talking open for 10 yards or open for anything. I'm op open for a completion, open for the clock running. Boom. You know, but I high ball. I'm so used to high balling these to get the reason why you high ball these. Same animation, consistent over the shoulder. You'll keep your momentum, good rack catching. But here, if I just dump this in right here, we're going to get a completion if nothing. But we highball it, and we get an incomplete, so the clock stops. Now, boom. Now we kind of got a pass. We went for it all. So this is the play I draw up here. He's just running zone, right? It's just it's just zone, right? So this corner route, you got to put clouds over here to stop this because it will run off a of cover four, a deep blue. It's the short side of the field. I know that. Uh, then I just have I got to play with his user. He's been using he's been double mabling me guarding the whole middle of his field. So I'm going to make him look at the angle route or the post route to Waller, who has short end, which should beat any type of coverage. Here the play breaks down, and we're going to have that option. He's on the running back. I see Waller light up against this guy. Money. I just I feel like this is money. What I got to do, and this is where I, I, I love the play call. I just got to execute better. Step up. 
I take a step backwards, this dude sheds because of it, I'm under pressure. <coughs> I think this guy is open. If he doesn't have a medium knockout or something like that, it's a catch. But I'm under pressure, and I throw the ball, and boom. Tough. Tough. I said I love the play. I love the route combo. Step up like a man. This is an easy, easy game over. Step up like a man. This is game over. Just not comfortable, not executing. Right in that hole that he left, pause, from his user. Step up into that. You step right here. This guy gets pancaked. This guy is getting double teamed. You almost could even run for a first down with Elway because his user is going here. This guy's going there. Look how it opens up. Just bad pocket, bad throw. I mean, low-key lucky it didn't go right to this guy for a pick six. So, I love my play calls. We just got to execute them better. I will always pass in that situation. Now, let me know if you guys would run the clock out and just kick a field goal, take his two timeouts. If I take his two timeouts, we're probably sitting around the same time, but he just won't have timeouts, you know, which for me, I want to – when you go for it, you give your chance yourself two chances to win the game. You can win the game from – Getting that first down and even say I didn't I didn't get the first down. I didn't execute. I didn't get it done. Now I still have a chance on defense, which I've been playing good defense. I'm not mad. I know every route combo he wants to do. Is he going to catch an egg? Is he going to moss me? Is this C route going to win? It's just that's what it comes down to. We're going to run the same defense. This He's going to do the same thing. Here we go. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to guard. I'm going to guard the corner route for the most part and, you know, let the right side do his thing. I got a, I got a universal coverage on Calvin. Feeling good. <clears throat> this time he goes little baby out route. Okay, that's a nice little mix-up. He's realized that I, I'm not manning that guy up. I put a deep blue. The guy that's supposed to be on him is in a deep blue to help with the ags. I don't want to get agged. I can't lose in this tournament because of ags. I know they're a big part of the game. Got to make sure they double team them. Got to make sure we tackle them. Got to make sure I run my user down the field to make sure I'm, I am I got a double team on them, guys. Here it is. Boom. Hit him. And we get agged. There it is. Tough. He's going to no huddle to the line. Uh, same type of thing. Motion out. Clock's running here, man. I'm not going to change my defense. I just want to. I'm going to run to the left. I'm gonna run, I know I'm going to run to the left here. Oh, we put a bunch of deep blues out here to guard a lot of things. Good defense here. We get an intentional grounding. Nice. 20 seconds in the game. Love that. He's at the 46-yard line. 29 seconds left. Now, man, I wish I would have ran the ball and took those timeouts. Then he'd really be SOL right here. Well, same thing. Motion out. My guy goes with him. Boom. We put a bunch of deep blues. Please, like, just stop. <laughs> just stop eggs. Don't get egged. I can't get egged. I can't get egged. Good little out route right here. Pick up a couple yards. Ah, get that knee in bounds, but he gets out of bounds here. Third and 12. Third and 12 here. Um, He's going to auto ball to the spread. Once again, I'm worried about eggs. I'm shading up. I'm shading up. I'm shading up. He goes to the egg over here. We knock it out. Dion, fourth and 12 for the game. 20 seconds left in the game, man. 20 seconds left. Don't get agged. Shade it up. Everybody has knockout. I'm ready to swat, ready to run to my user the ball. Even if we get agged, we have to make the tackle. Fourth and 12. We're not in ag for the game yet. I feel like when you try to throw a deeper ag, it's tougher to catch. Now, here we go. He audibles the spread. I think ag all the way. Drop back. We're getting some pressure. He goes corner route. And Ty Law, oh my gosh, Ty Law, if you touch him, he drops the ball. If you touch him with medium knockout, he drops the ball just like just enough. Like, and this is where maybe a bigger player, like see how much bigger Atwater is? Pause. We have a bigger wingspan and just touch him a little bit. Pause. But, you know, I mean, you play to your medium knockouts. You play to tie law. You got to do a little bit better. But at the end of the day, we're guarding ags right now. So that corner route is, is kind of open. So now, now we are at get teabagged for the game territory. We are absolutely a get teabag for the game. I am petrified of getting teabag for the game. But we're going to run spinner again. Solo coverage. You see, I start putting some deep blues. He audibles to... This looks like... <coughs> it's going to be just an ag. So I audible to two man under. Get double coverage on everybody. 
We are not going out getting egged. I'll tell you that. Once again, streaks, everybody. High balls up in the air. Pick ours, pick ours, pick ours, pick ours. We could have ended the game right there. He just chucks in the double coverage. Every single person right here has pick artists. There are four Eagles. Somebody put their hands on the football. Incomplete pass. Nine seconds left. I'm so afraid to get teabagged right here. I'm going to call two man under instead of spinner. Two man under here. And what happens is that when he motions out, nobody goes with this guy now. Now, we've been playing this game for how many snaps now, and I've been having no problem with this motion out. But now on two men under, nobody goes with him. So I'm kind of panicking. Call my timeout. This is about your comfort. Why do you – and then and then they, the, the chat asked me, why do you run the same defense all the time? Why do you run – how do you run spinner every single play? Because you know what's going to happen. You know how they're going to adjust to motions, how they're going to adjust the route swaps, how they're going to adjust the different adjustments that you make. You know what's going to happen. So now I'm going to run two men under, a defense I'm really not comfortable with or I don't run. Now you guys think it's simple, two men under. Yeah, well, I'm going to run it again. This time I'm not going to click on a guy. I try to set up the blitz. Boom, I got the blitz set up. I'm going to get on. I move night train lane out there. Move him out to the right. Got this guy here. I'm going to use her to de-tackle here just because I got everybody manned up. Everybody's manned up, and I got a glitch blitz over here. I can use her to detail, get down here, get, get in here, worry about this egg, this egg, everything. And we give up a streak right down the middle. Deion Sanders gets ran right by. Whoop! Now, there's a lot of things I did wrong. One, should have never went to two men under. I should have stayed in spinner and said, go ahead, put a bunch of deep blues out there. Two, two man under is a very good defense, right? But it's, it has it has a built in shade down, so your man coverage is going to play a lot more aggressively. And you notice I haven't been pressing at all this game, and I don't press this play. I let Dion play five eight yards off, right? So he's shaded down, so he's going to run down there aggressively to guard, and then whoop, get ran right by. But I know that in two man under, instead of setting up the blitz. Like this, instead of moving Night Train out, which he could have helped me if I left him where he was, I move him out five yards. <coughs> instead of setting up a blitz, moving out Night Train, and then having to move Atwater out to guard Waller, if I would have just shaded up first and not, not left it stock, then Dion would have played Calvin a lot better. Or I could have just pressed and at least got a little press animation on Dion, but instead... We get ran right by for the game. Tough. 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 That's tough. Now we got five seconds. And a dream here. Two-man rush. We're going to have some time. Just got to step up. I don't really have too much. We're going to try to ag right here to, to freaking Marcus Allen. But we cross the line somehow because the game, the game is the game. My foot is behind the line. This pisses me off because the rule in football is if you <laughs> your whole body has to pass the line. I got a touchback, so the line is definitely at the 25-yard line. Look where my right foot is. Look where my right foot is when I throw this football. Absolutely piss poor that this is a penalty. Now, obviously, I'm not getting much out of this. Maybe, who knows, I catch it and run. Who knows, but... And the clock ran out anyway, but just Disappointing. Disappointing. Just didn't execute. All my calls were fine. I'm not mad at any of them. Just got to execute them better, man. Just got to execute those calls better. Um, two men under, got to shade up right away. The pass plays that I called, just got, I put the right plays out there. Just got to make better throws, better timing, better pocket. Just bad. Bad execution. I could have caught a pick. He could have fumbled with the quarterback. I couldn't have gave up that touchdown before the half where my dudes bumped into each other. Uh, just a disappointing game. Um, I don't think I got cheated. You know, I could things could have went better my way, I, but I could have played a lot better. Got some things done. Not mad at any of my calls. Agging is a part of this game. It sucks. It's so tough to play, uh, especially when you get to that 25, 30 yard line where you could lose off one ag. I was so afraid of that that it made me switch up my defense. But it's you should be afraid of it. It's that tough. But it is a double elimination tournament. We lost the first game, so now we go down into the dungeon that is the loser's bracket where you got to win a million games to get out. 
We're going to start that journey, man. Thank you guys. For, if you guys like these videos, please let me know. Uh, I'm trying to drop a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of tidbits that go through my mind during the game. And it relates to football so much, these different situations we're put into. So if you guys are liking these, please let me know in the comments. Closing on 40K subscribers. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. I'll post the loser bracket games. Those games are 10 times better than that one. And I know that game was a hell game. I hope you guys liked it, man.